Hi everyone, Mark here and I thought I'd just do a quick video um, to show off one of my favourite features of C Sharp 7 which is the improved support for tuples or depending on how you like to pronounce it, tuples or tuples. I'm going to call them tuples in this. Um, now tuples have been part of C Sharp for a while. Um, it was possible to create them just by saying um, greeting equals tuple.create hello world and I'm using by the way I'm using the um, beta of Linkpad because the current release version doesn't support C Sharp 7 just yet hopefully that will change soon um, but if we create this tuple then we can see that we've created a tuple of string string with hello and world and the two properties are called item one and item two now i've always felt that the tuple feature in c sharp is very disappointing it's cumbersome to use i don't really like having to call the two members item one and item two and it's basically meant that i've pretty much avoided it which is a shame because it leaves you with a problem when you've got a function that you need to return more than one piece of information from currently if i let me just change my uh, link pad script to be in program mode if i've got a function called get greeting and it needs to return two strings what am i going to actually return obviously i could return something like this with a anonymous object but then the caller can't easily get hold of the two properties on that I could make my own class of greeting with a property called first something like that but that feels a bit overkill and so the only the only other real option we had, um, you could of course use an out variable and that's what you sometimes see, although that's I find that a bit of an ugly way of coding using out. I want the parameters of my function to be inputs and it to return the output. Um, so you could, as I say, up until now do this, but it then meant that we'd have to copy this to do that. It then meant that the caller of your function, if we could say get greeting, has to use these rather unpleasantly named item one and item two to get at the two properties. So how does the new C Sharp 7 syntax help us out? Well, basically what it allows us to do is, first of all, we can get rid of this and we can create a tuple directly just by saying open brackets hello comma world now this isn't compiling at the moment because it's actually making a new thing called a value tuple um, although you do you won't normally need to type this what we can say is that this function returns a string comma string like that and that will work now what happens if we run this let's just run this we'll say that actually we've got a value tuple but it's still item one and item two so not necessarily that much better however I can now give these names so I can say first and second and that allows me here in the code to say greeting and I'll see some IntelliSense first and second are there instead of item one and item two now if I run this We'll see hello and world, but you'll see that actually the class under the hood has still got properties named item one and item two. So this really is just about your code getting nice IntelliSense. Now, one of the things that I think um, you might want to do is use capital letters on these. It kind of feels a bit wrong for these to have lower case, um, lowercase things. It, kind of looks a bit ugly one way or the other whichever way you do this I imagine the community will come to an agreement on whether we capitalize these or not and so another nice feature is that you can unpack these so I can say if I put in brackets here first and second 
and we'll comment this out. First dot dump and second dot dump. This is actually called destructuring this feature. And I really like this. It basically allows me to give my variables um, meaningful names. I don't have to worry about the whole item one and item two thing, even though as we saw, it's there under the hood. And I can easily have functions that return um, tuples with nice names for each of the parameters. So finally, in C Sharp 7, um, we've got the tuples that we always wanted from the beginning. There's still a little bit of awkwardness in a few places, but actually I think these are genuinely useful now and it's one of the main features of C Sharp 7 that I'm looking forward to using. So that's it for now. Uh, stay tuned. I'm, I might do some more videos on other C Sharp 7 features in the future.